You didn't, you didn't feel anything before when you came in, either, did you? Oh, 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 what the oh, off? Oh, what the oh, hell? Who is that? Off. Like, do not go in that room. I don't know why. The same I swear, place. I swear on my life. Oh, what the, the, the f was that? In the mountains of Aberystwyth in Wales, we're about to descend into a 17th century silver mine to investigate the claims of paranormal phenomena occurring within its dark depths. Today, the mine is a tourist attraction called Silver Mountain Experience, where many of the visitors and staff members have been experiencing things they can't explain. The attraction's owner, Simon Picard, was eager to see what we could find and if we too believe there to be supernatural occurrences going on here. The site was opened in 1742 when the first lead ore was discovered and was then operational until 1908, at which point the mine was then closed and left abandoned for the next 50 or 60 years. This was a silver lead mine and they mined a mineral called galena from which was extracted lead and silver and then in the latter years also small amounts of zinc. So the miners that worked here, um, they worked their whole life from as young as eight from the young boys working down in the mines and then often the mothers and daughters would then work on the surface. They lived and worked here until the miners were about mid-30s to 40, and that was their life expectancy. We understand uh, that a young boy of around about 12 fell down a ladder way uh, within the mine, although it's difficult to, to prove whether that is actual fact or otherwise. Um, we also have an artifact here, uh, which is one of the big miners drills, uh, which resulted in the death and serious injury of another miner. Uh, with regard to paranormal activity, um, we've um, experienced a number of um, strange incidences, I suppose you'd call it, um, and we've also held our own uh, paranormal um, events. Um, so we've um, experienced footsteps, we've had um, strange noises, um, we've also uh, done glass tipping and crystal divination. Uh, so there is certainly activity here on the site, um, probably site-wide across the, the buildings and in the mines themselves. It, man. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, no. <laughs> wow. It does feel a bit surreal investigating a mine. But the kind of place I've always watched on TV and it just it's one of them places that is just seriously creepy. I don't know why. It's like you've still got ladders rusting and decaying. It's like it's a, f it's a forgotten world, isn't it? It is literally a forgotten world. From an era that is famed for having hauntings, you know, like Victorian you know what era. That era is where a lot of ghosts are said to come from. Just think of how many, how many people have actually died in places like this. Yeah. 
you know, falling to a death, killed by machinery, falling rock, explosives, right, you know, literally all kinds of death just happening in these places. And it's not just from the work, it's afterwards, it's like lung diseases, it's right, yeah, so it's from just the general stress on your body from being in places like this, so day in, day out, the hours they used to do. And even kids, they weren't just growing men. Kids, as young as eight, could be in places like this. You know, I'll say it's just a different way of life back then. Yeah. You know, we think we've got it bad now. Oh. We've got it easy. Look at that. God, so just... that's where it goes further down into the shaft spot. It's obviously flooded. It's scary to think how deep this place actually is. I know. He said there's about eight levels, weren't there? Different yeah. tunnel systems beneath us, but they're all flooded. As you can see now, there's a lot of water coming into this place. Hello? Can anyone hear us? If anybody's still working down here, we don't work here, but we're just coming to check on you. If you can just let us know where you are, can you knock on the wall? We just want to check you're all right. Did you just hear that? Massive bangs down here. It sounded like something metal. What the what the Did you hear that? I heard it, 100%. We're coming. Just, um, can you keep banging where you are? My God, man, that was so loud. It was like some metal, like a big metal sheet or something. Yeah. Punched. Whoa, 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 stop, stop. I heard a voice then. Female voice. Punched. Whoa, 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 whoa. Punched. Whoa, 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 whoa. So there is kind of, there is some bangs down here, but. Dude. I'm pretty sure it wasn't these thuds we can hear now. Because it, it rung down the corridor, didn't it? What did you think you heard then? Are you guys not here? It's, what? what? The, the, the proper thump, thumping about? We're standing still, literally yeah. talking, and there's someone else walking around. Ah. Oh. There's water hitting something down here. Okay. That. that literally sounds like someone's stomping the feet around, doesn't it? On my headphones, it sounds like someone's walking around down here. Really? <laughs> right. But no, when I asked them to bang, it was something like metal reverberated down the, you know. Yeah. I couldn't hear this around there. But I could hear that. Dude, like, look, there's a big metal drum. That's what I was picturing, it sounded like it hit. What was that wood? No. It sounded like more metal, like if there was a metal sheet like that, it sounded like that was hit so prominently. Hello? Can you bang where you are again, please? Voice again. You cannot hear this. It's like a. Mm. I didn't hear that twice. It sounds like a female voice. I heard it twice now. Voice again. Voice again. As we were still unfamiliar with the common sounds of the mineshaft, we didn't even notice these distinctly clear knocks immediately after I requested them. The fact that a female sounding voice is also captured for the second time now further suggests that these sounds could be paranormal and from something aware of our demands. Hello? Is that your voice we can hear? 
Sorry, did you just not hear that? No. Or vice. You said hello, then there was like this really high pitched, but well, I don't know what okay. So I thought I heard a voice. It's like a body of like a like say if you not like a female childish childlike voice. Like just little like moans, like. Did you did you hear that whistle? Did yeah, you hear that whistle? I think I did. Yes. Just like just little like moans like. Did you did you hear that whistle? Did you hear that whistle? I think I did. Like just little like moans like. Did you did you hear that whistle? Already yet again, it appeared that something or someone was letting us know of its presence. Imitating the whistle that I just did moments before. Could this have been the young boy who tragically fell to his death in here many years ago? Tell you what, what are you going to say? Cool. I was going to say, Carl, you go down there. Aaron, you shift back a bit. I'll go this way. Yeah. Let's try and isolate where this is coming from. <laughs> See, dude, this is what it sounded like. Yeah. Metal sheet. So it was like someone was walking on that floor? Yes. That's exactly what I imagined. <laughs> See, dude, this is what it sounded like. Hello, I'm trying to find you. Can you make a noise again, please? Where are you? Did you hear it, Owen? No. By Carl, then. What I'm just trying to rationalise this is, is this, you know, is it the sound of water? Obviously, you know, each, each drip's kind of like almost like a sound manipulation, you know, like sound pareidolia, and we're kind of subconsciously thinking, you know, is it, is it some sound, do you know what I mean? It's possible. I mean, there's, a lot, there's a lot of noise contamination going just, on. Here, just but... stand still for like two seconds, and that's, that's it. Did you speak? No. I thought it was f**k off. What the f**k was that? I thought it was you. Man, that was, that that was next to you. No. I thought it was from your mouth. No. It said about three words. Like, mm, 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 mm. I heard a groan. Weird, yeah. So you were facing that way, it sounded like it was right by you, like as if you'd said it. I'm going to go down here quite a bit. Yeah, you're going to have to go quite a way down. Okay, it's going noticeably colder right here, which could just be totally natural. But just in case not, I'm going to camp here. Did I literally just stun it? Bro! It's like a banging. You sounded like a, a, a metallic banging. Yeah, it was like a 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 banging. I'm hearing shit like legit stuff right now. Well, it sounded like, um, what? I don't know, it was more like a um, ting. What kind of noise, bro? Nothing down there. Nothing down here. So, why, why are we hearing the sounds? A lot of water contamination down here. 
Metal to hit down here, is it? That's the thing the, well, where the water's coming in. Look, right up the floor, where he was sounding from. Do you know what it sounded like to me? I mean, it's going to sound. I don't know if it's me putting a. Because we're in a, a mine, but it sounded like a pickaxe hitting the rock. Chiara yeah, Ting. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Like the typical. Yeah. Ping, ping. Right, let's I mean, you know, if you. So we've been in here for absolutely ages now. The common sounds what we're hearing. Mm. You know, yeah. Got used to it. This was different. Well, this was different. Right. Just like the, the voice was before. You know, yeah. well, we've not, not heard the voice anymore. Yeah. But we're hearing different sounds now. After reviewing these distinctively different metallic knock sounds that myself and Carl heard, it does seem that my conclusion at the time could have been right after all. Did we briefly capture some residual sounds of miners working away hitting the rocks with hand tools? Also back when we first entered this area, we again captured three distinct knocks which on review aren't too dissimilar to those that we just heard. Were these also residual replays of the miners working here centuries ago? So because we're not hearing these voices now down here, let's try Spirit Box. We found this tends to draw energy in, in the past. This tool that I'm holding in my hand will enable you to speak to me. What I need you to do, if you want to say something, you've got to come in front of me and shout into this antenna on top. What was that? Oh, it's, uh, it's the... Okay, <laughs> we're just getting checked up on. <laughs> right, that fine was just Simon, so we're all good. But it's funny, Simon, when we first came in here, the first thing I said, just as we were coming down, somebody's down here, bang on something to let us know. And it was like one of these, no joke, like that loud. Because we were right round there, and it was yeah. prominent. We've yeah. come in here, we're thinking, right, there's drifting going on, it's drifting yeah. on any metal, but we've been in here, what, half an hour longer? Mm -hmm. And it hasn't happened again, there's been nothing like that. So. And you did mention that there was bangs earlier. Uh, we did, yeah, a couple of years ago, yeah. Yeah, during, the, uh, during the summer. It was just like metal work. It was yeah. like a metal sheet like that, so. Okay. Also heard some voices. Sound like a child, a female child maybe. Yeah, it was. It was hard to like distinguish. You no, know, exactly what it was properly. But it literally sounds like a child. Mm. Please don't be shy. I just want to check that you're okay down here. Can you come and say hello to us? We called out using the spirit box for a further 10 minutes, but received no response of any kind. Was this due to the fact that the spirits here were unfamiliar with this device, or thinking more rationally because we were deep underground and receiving no signals? You maybe do things underground, we've done a spirit box in a bunker before, similar situation to this where you get no spirit box and it kind of makes you think. It goes against the spirit box, doesn't it? But we oh, know that it's that amazing. Too good of stuff to not believe in this at all. But underground, it doesn't seem to work. It's almost so like. So maybe they, you know, is it a case of if it is spirit talking through that, then they are have, they do have to use radio waves. Somehow manipulate that into. I don't know, man. I, I've been 200 foot below surface and I've had stuff come through before, like yeah. below. Um, random, random bits of stuff, right. which kind of, it's you know, went right. against what, you know, what I thought. I 
Okay, so we've come out of the main mine tunnel itself for now. Activity seemed to have dropped off. I think we had the initial wave when we first went in there. Yeah. I don't know whether our energy going in just kicked it off, but we had five, ten minutes. Odd little bits here and there, but it seemed to have pretty much flattened out. Yeah, that's it. So we've moved to this building instead now. This is actually original feature to the actual whole entire site. Yeah, the biggest building that was here. Yeah. Still original. I think all they've done is replace the roof, haven't they? Yeah, that's it. Uh, and obviously it's still got a lot of the original furnishings in here as well. Yeah. Obviously they have turned it into a bit of a scare maze, you know, for kids and things, as you can see. You know, these weren't original. Um, but the actual foundation is itself, yeah. Yeah, the woodwork and that, so... Let's just see, this is said to be a hot spot. And I do want to point out, when we first walked around here and we had a tour around, there's two rooms in here that just instantly felt bad to me. That was like oppressive vibes. Yeah, it was like an the, the anxious, typical anxiety feeling, you know, the rising up of it and felt like shot out of breath. Yeah, that um, feeling that you get when you step into the dark places that we're going to. Yeah. So if there's, there is anyone within this building, maybe you want to make yourself known to us? We kind of felt a little bit on edge before. Already starting to get in front of Yeah, no, bro, literally just here. Yeah, in the pit of my stomach. Yeah, that's it. Our like unease. Yeah, literally, uh, it's just coming from this this part here. Around this bend. Yeah. Just that. Just here, yeah. Stomach, like butterflies, like, ooh, what's going on? What is that? Where? Why? I wish I had the trifield meter to just check it as high EMF. That can cause those feelings. Yeah. A paranoia kind of thing. So are you around us then? Is this what you do? Is do you make people feel uncomfy here? Bro, honestly, I'm like just so out of breath. You don't feel anything. No. See, that, this is weird because you don't you didn't feel anything before when you came in here, neither did you? No. It was mainly me and Sean who felt something. Honestly, I'm just, I just feel like I just need to like, you know, literally just like rest for, for a second. Are you feeling like, like just... Not to the extent you are, but I'm feeling uneasy now, for some reason. Just, just like on edge, like there's danger around. Damn, I've just got bad pressure in my chest. These are all typical signs of the dark haunts. In hey, wh why don't we run the spirit box here then? Hello? So who's here with us now then? So I'm kind of getting a vibe that maybe you don't want us in here or you don't like people coming in here. People with no authorization to come into this part of the building. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm irrationally scared of whatever's down there. And I think that was that room that I instantly felt bad earlier, but... I think we should just go down there. And just... uh, I'm taking pictures here and just like, do not go in that room, I don't know why. So you down here then? Yeah, this is that room, isn't it? Something about this room, I don't know what's happened here, but... Like thudding like a bit of footsteps. Yeah. Is that you banging? Oh yeah, because there's a set it's a set of stairs there, can almost just see it literally sound like there's footsteps above us. Is that you upstairs? Run a little bit 
Oh, let's see what happens. Are you still using this equipment? I mean, look at look at the size of that man. That, 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 that old school barrel. It's like you don't see that every day. So, I mean, just think of the residual energy, you know, attached to these objects inside here. I don't know what it is, I feel really frustrated in this room. Like, there's just anger in this room. Mm. I feel like it's just heavy. Yeah, it's just heavy. It's not even right, it's not fit right in here. I feel like anger. Like, there's somebody just absolutely raging staring at us. Come on, try and use this device in my hand, sort to us. Strange we just don't seem to be getting like anything through the spirit box. With no activity on this lower level other than the negative atmosphere, we continued upstairs to where I heard what sounded like heavy footsteps when first entering this room. I mean, does anyone know what this building was used for? No. I think he did say, but I can't. Yeah. I just know he said it was like the main the main mining building. Like, what were they doing? Somewhere like that with the store things. I mean, I don't think it's the admin block because the the admin block was on the other side of the, the site, wasn't it? So was this some kind of like infirmary hospital kind of thing? I mean, I'm ju I'm just guessing right possibly, now. Possibly, possibly. Hence why he's got the the mannequins here. Mm. Um, but is that just like part of this? Yeah, obviously that's part of this, you know, scare attraction kind of thing. But but there's something you know, about this wall plan between this wall and this wall downstairs and up here. There's there's something like gone on here. Mm. It just feels really negative, constantly. Yeah. Guys, you um, there's it's literally a really really cold blast down here. It's just literally gone. I'm telling you. Sub zero. It's just gone. Yeah, really, as it's like proper icy. Really icy cold. There is something in here that does really not want us in here. I don't know why. Like. Yeah, hasn't it? It's like you put your hand in a freezer. Yeah, but it's not like convection or anything. If it was, you'd, you know, the, these are, this would be moving kind of thing. There's yeah. just there's nothing. Oh yeah, there's no. It doesn't feel like a a draft. It just it's feels the like coldness. You put your hand. You know, you've opened a freezer and you're getting something out. The, yeah, that chill, that. the chill factor. Yeah. Because of what we've just been feeling upstairs, there's definitely, definitely something going on in that room. I don't know whether it's just like residual or there is like a negative entity that's still roaming there. Thought you heard footsteps. I don't know. I, I feel like I've had to come back with the tri field meter and let's just try and see if there's a high electromagnetic field here. It could be causing this paranoia feeling, um, these negative vibes. But if there is nothing, then it does kind of imply it could be something negative. Yeah. Let's, um, let's just see what readings we're getting. It was around here, Carl, when we first started feeling it. So, absolutely nothing. You know, when we come in here the first time, we said we wish we had this to have a look. It's absolutely zero. So, it's not paranoia caused by a high electromagnetic field. There's definitely some kind of emotion hitting our bodies in this area. Yeah. Come on, we're not going to leave the space until you prove indefinitely that you're in here. Because you're putting fear in... Oh, I felt a blast in my face. Coming from the staircase there. Really? Yeah. Which is exactly where... Exactly where we just were. Yeah. You're making us feel really unwelcome in here. And there's no reason for it. We're just coming here just to see how everybody's doing. And I just want to point out as well. We just saw Simon when we swapped our gear. This was like the offices, and it's funny enough, you weren't there, Owen, when I, we just spoke to him. Yeah. What did I say upstairs? What well, I got the vibe that it was. Do you um, or who? What kind of person? Yeah, you said. Yeah, it was like a the, uh, an owner or something that just wanted to make money and was the supervisor. Yeah. A supervisor, yeah. Who who was just and miserable said, and yeah. He said these were the offices for the supervisors. So oh, there we go. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh.
Jesus Christ! What the f was that? Bro, I just felt like I just got touched. No joke. What the f? Bro, so much just touched me. Like, I'm me. And, and you, you as well? At the me. same time? Yes. What the hell? Literally, I felt like I got touched on, on my neck here, like on the, on the right right side. Yes. Like, how were you both stood there? No, I, f I was literally like, like this. So I, no joke, I felt like I got touched like here on the side of my neck. Wait, which side here? On my right right side here, like this one was just here. I'm here. I swear, the same I place. swear. I swear on my life. Oh, what the, the, the f? Bro, oh, oh. it's a f. I thought someone touched me like, sorry, it was the end of that. Oh, the <laughs> age, man. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, how the hell is that possible that you've both got touched? You'd have to be doing that. I don't know, man. No, they couldn't even do that because it's. it's on the same side of your necks. That's two people. I, I don't. I don't even want to stand there right now, man. I just want to say, despite all of this, still no electromagnetic field. It's not that. The hell? I don't like it here. It, I told you. It's just changed. This was just to me. It was just a museum, and now it's now it's not. No, I told you. It had the evil vibes that you get in the darkest of places in just this room and the one above. And what did I just say? Is the supervisor that gives people shit. You were the arsehole, weren't you? You were the one that just slave worked. All these young kids didn't care if they got hurt. As long as they made you your profit, you were the one nobody wanted to work for. Dude, where is that breeze coming from? Yeah, again. I'm not feeling it. Look at Oni, you're like covering yourself, <laughs> covering your neck and stuff. Dude, something <laughs> And then Carl in the exact same place. It wasn't like hard. Oh my god. But literally, as soon as I felt something touch my neck, Carl screamed. Then it just confirmed. But he got touched in the exact same spot. And you were both sort of distance apart. We, 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 uh, that is that is nuts. You're short of energy now. You've just done that. <coughs> I've got an EM pump in here. It's said to just chuck out energy that they believe ghosts can manipulate. So let's give them a bit more, right? Come on, you don't want us in here, so get us out. You've clearly got the strength to do that. And if you need more, I've just put something on the floor that's vibrating. Absorb all that energy. And use it to get us out of your space that you clearly don't want us in. <laughs> See, I think what it is, the fact... Oh. Just got this awful arm in this that's just laughing. <laughs> oh what? shit, I don't know, man. <laughs> you know what? That's actually really freaky. Oh, f do you think you're? <laughs> do you think he's finding it funny? Yeah, hey, I don't know, man. Man. Oh. Ser Seriously, bro, I'm just that like. Let me upstairs. I've got the biggest smile on my face right right now. It's just like, what the. F <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Oh mate, that oh, is... I've got a cramp in my ribs now. Oh, was... it? <laughs> 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 Honestly, it's so freaky. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ, man, my ribs! Oh. Something powerful in here. This is some dark haunting. I'm telling you. God knows why in an office building. Oh, man. Should we stay in here or should we go upstairs? I don't know, man. How are you? How, how do you feel? Oh, I just want to get the out of this room. Really? Yeah. I'm literally just not happy. And you see, I I'm glad. Owen's oh, no, Mr. Logical and Skeptic. You weren't feeling what me and Carl were feeling earlier, were you? Mm. Oh, I can't believe how you couldn't feel it, man. It was. Even just. You didn't have to get in this room. Just approaching it from around there, it was just overwhelming.
Much to my disliking, we continue to stand our ground in those rooms with a negative presence. I must admit, up until I felt that touch on my neck, I had no inclination of anything being there at all. But after experiencing what I did, that certainly proved otherwise, especially as Carl felt the same thing in the same place at the same time, which was completely bizarre, as we were stood at least two meters apart when it happened. With the time now approaching 2am, we still had one more mining tunnel left to investigate, known as the Old Adit. So we're now heading down to one of the other mine tunnels here. This one is said to be quite active. Should we shut the door on it? Really that was small, yeah. Not near enough. So it opens up down the bottom here. It just goes on. You can go further down. No way. Whoa, check this out, guys. Yeah, look, this is like the folklore. In the old days, miners were very superstitious people. They firmly believed that they shared their subterranean work with a race of fairy folk. The knockers, they were called. And they believe that they made sounds in the tunnels to show them where the silver in this case would be. I've seen all the old coins and stuff in there. Yeah. People have been putting them as a, an offering to these these fairies. Okay, just roll on thermal as well. I don't know about you, but I'm hearing screaming. No, I heard a scream. It's yeah. literally wailing, like going, ah! Yeah. yeah. Right. 100%. Yeah. 1000%. Yeah. percent And I, I didn't say anything. I thought, I'll wait for you guys to see it. You, you, okay, you didn't hear it. Maybe it was my imagination, but now you say that. As we were now nearing the end of our investigation, we only spent a relatively short amount of time within the old adit, but it certainly did not disappoint. From distinctly female voices to a loud knock on command, it undoubtedly seemed that once again something intelligent was aware of our presence and willing to communicate. Okay, so we've reached the end of the night now. I mean, let's, let's break it down, because there's been so many different things in different areas. Let's go back to where we first started, the, the main mine shaft. As soon as we went in there, we were hearing, well, a bang on command. I asked, make a sound where you are, massive metallic bang. If you can just let us know where you are, can you knock on the wall? F*** off. What the f*** 
course Did you say that? Massive bangs down here. Never happened again. Sounds of children. Yeah. Didn't really happen again. Multiple times, yeah, at start, but then stopped. Mm. Voice again. Can you cannot hear this. It's like a mmm. So, but we've had that a couple of times tonight, haven't we? We've gone into a place, like that second tunnel that we went to. Yeah. Went in, hearing things, and then nothing. It's like it it wants to show that it's there. Oh, oh the God. God. But then once we've acknowledged it, like you said earlier. Yeah, I like, maybe that is the case, you know, it's whatever is here is getting acknowledged. It's like, hey, I'm over here, and then as soon as it, it you know, we notice it, mm. it just goes off. Yeah. That's it. No. Hello. Bye -bye. Could be the case. Yeah. Who knows? But then I think we had a very different side to this place in that main main mining office yeah. building. There was something dark going on in there, <laughs> undoubtedly. Oh, oh, what the oh, f oh, f what f oh, f was that f off? Jesus Christ! Oh, which took me by surprise. It felt as evil as places, one of the worst places we've been to. It's confusing though, because I can't understand why. No, nor me, that was the thing. It doesn't make any sense, because you'd think the dark stuff would be inside the mines where the accidents and mm. deaths occurred, but yeah. not, not in Admin Block. It could be different areas. That's it. Different areas. Was it like, like just sprung to my mind, like a, an evil supervisor who would just give all these kids the hardest tasks? Mm. Was it just his palpable energy that is just like stained? Because it was literally that end of the building, top and bottom. I'm not saying that, it was kind of like it went from someone to something. Yeah. It didn't feel like it was a person anymore. It didn't. It did feel like, I don't want to use the word demon, but it felt like that darker side, something darker. something more than human, yeah. Oh, was that signs of the knockers? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the fairies that are said to be. Their mind is really believed in though, man. Yeah. The fact that they believed in it so much, could that actually create these things? Our investigation here of the Silver Mountain Mine was an experience that I don't think any of us will forget. Besides from the unexplained activity that we experienced here, just to be able to venture down into the mine shaft dating back 300 years feels very surreal. It's like you're stepping into a time machine. You can almost feel the history and energy around you. Thinking about the stone tape theory and residual energy, there's surely no better place to document this than in a mine, where you're literally surrounded by rock that has been subject to human emotions for hundreds of years. However, on most occasions where we captured a voice or a distinct knock or bang, it seemed to be on command when asking for it which instead would suggest an actual spirit haunting as opposed to replays of the past as a result of residual energy. Being such a large site to investigate, it seemed that in one night we barely scratched the surface of what Silver Mountain had to offer. We hope that what we managed to document has helped to validate some of the experiences that both Simon and his members of staff have been having here. Our personal conclusion is that there is undoubtedly paranormal activity going on at this mine, and it's somewhere we definitely return to in the not too distant future.